G'day everyone, welcome to Avoca. Well, I've come to Avoca today. Today's a special day. So what it is, is we've got this Five Lands Walk art exhibition. It's called Art in the Open. So I'm part of it. There's 25 artists spread about uh, four beaches, spread out about four beaches. And um, I'm at uh, North, uh, sorry, Avoca, uh, Rockpool today to um, do two paintings. And also today, I'm gonna paint the largest plein air painting I've ever done. I'll be doing that later. Will probably be um, in the next video. So the first video will be this one here. Okay, so the first video I will be painting this view here on this little canvas, which will be over here. I'll just quickly show you guys. Which will be this view here, looking into the light. You got the rock pool. You got rocks. You got um, basically a shimmer on the water. That's the skillion over there. And so this will be my first painting, and my second painting will be looking over that way. So anyway, we've got a puppet show on. Let's have a quick look at that. Oh, I think I see what the problem there is, mate. What's the matter? I think you lost your spring. Oh, no, mate. Yeah. No, I don't have a spring in my, in my beak anymore. So yeah, this art competition, the uh, Five Lands Art in the Open, it, um, there's about $7,000 up for grabs between the 25 artists. There's a people's choice that us artists, um, we pick the three best paintings that we like. We do that tonight. And then in September, we have the exhibition. So yeah, looking forward to it. I'm so glad to be part of it. And the Five Lands Walk is basically people walk from three beaches down that way, which is McMaster's Beach, the Copacabana Beach, Avoca Beach, North Avoca Beach, and then Terrigal. It's like a 10 kilometer walk or so. Uh, people walk that and it's, uh, the whole concept of the whole thing is about reconciliation with the indigenous people of Australia. So we're trying to bridge that gap and stop racism and things like that. So yeah, here I am at Avoca Beach, Rockpool. I'm gonna paint this painting, let's paint. Okay, so I'm ready to paint. I'll show you guys my wash. Okay, so you can see here my wash, what I'm gonna have. So I'm gonna be looking into the light. Actually, both my paintings will be looking into the light today. But with this little one here, um, so basically you've got the skillion which is way over there, headland over there, and um, the shimmer on the water, and then I'm, you've got the rock pool I'm going to put in place here, and some rocks. So yeah, it's a simple painting, but I'm trying to sort of use like the S composition, so I sort of want to take you, take you into the light, and I guess the focal point would probably be around this area here. So that's what I'm doing today, and um, yeah, really happy to be part of this. Yeah, so um, only um, 25 artists or so got picked uh, to be part of it, and I'm a part of it, and, and I love playing air, so it's right up my alley, this, this kind of thing. So yeah, really great, and happy to be part of it, and um, looking forward to painting. So let's paint. So I'm gonna start with the sky now, I'll get the sky in. It's a warm sky. Um, I'll probably go lizard and crimson, a little bit of cloud, and uh, cobalt blue. So the palette, the palette I've got is aluminium composite and I put some gesso on it um, to give it a nice grey tone and I'm using titanium white, uh, sapphire, ultramarine blue, cobalt blue, viridian, alizarin crimson, scarlet lake, uh, lemon yellow, yellow ochre and burnt sienna. And I'm using a soft gel medium and pure gum turpentine. Okay, get the sky in now. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint my uh, my headland. Okay, for my headland, I'm going to mix into that sky colour burnt sienna, viridian, ultramarine blue, a bit more burnt sienna, a little bit of scarlet lake, because it's a warm, 
it's warm but it's also cool and then a bit more ultramarine blue that's getting closer to what I want yeah about that Okay, so I've got me, me distance and that in. Now what I'm gonna do is get my water in. So I've, I've made a, a water color of cobalt blue, sapphire, scarlet lake, a little bit of alizarin, burnt sienna and titanium white. I'm just gonna get the wash in with the, um, I'm using this soft gel medium. So I'm using this soft gel medium. It's the first time I've used it. Um, well, I used it last week, but it's a smooth gel medium, and so far so good. It just helps push the paint a bit. Okay, for my shimmer, I'm going to use titanium white, lemon yellow, and alizarin crimson. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, I'm coming up to now putting in the rock pool. So I'll show you guys how I'm looking. So you look out there, you can see the rock pool and it's, and it's in, so you've got dark and light together. So I'll be popping that, let's have a look. So I'll be doing something here with the rock pool. Get, I'll get all the rocks in using the palette knife and then we'll go from there. I've used Scarlet Lake, Burnt Sienna, Ultramarine Blue, and Titanium White for my rock color.
I look at pain. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm, not everything, but I, certain things I think that could work. I chuck it in. Yeah, and then fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, I'm nearly done now. So what I'm going to do is just do the shimmer uh, around this area here. A bit more shimmer and then we'll wrap it up. And that, that was my painting of um, looking out towards the Skillion, looking out towards Terrigal. I think I've got a bit of harmony there. I'll have to have a look at it later. Um, but yeah, enjoying it. And um, I will finish it off and then I will have myself a break. And then uh, in part two, which will be probably be another video, um, you'll see me do the larger, my biggest ever plein air painting. So we'll be doing that looking into the light that way. So let's carry on. Yeah, I've done the painting here at uh, Avoca. I'll show you guys. Tell me what you think. Okay, so tell me what you think. There's the painting. So I didn't want to overdo it with uh, composition, but I sort of hopefully you can take into the painting. Hopefully you can see it okay and um, it looks okay. So basically the sun's moved over. Was that view over there? But overall, I think it, I think it turned out it's not, not a bad little painting. So yeah, there you go. Thanks for coming along. So part two will be another video of me painting, looking uh, into the light over there. And uh, so thanks for coming along and catch you in the next one. See ya. Okay, part two. I'm going to tackle this big painting, but first of all, look at these guys. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is my painting, I'm gonna paint from just back there a little bit because I, my, ideally I wanted to stand down here, but there's there's uh, too many people there. But this is basically the view that you, that you can see. I'm not gonna put the rocks, I'm gonna do it from just down there, um, looking that way. So that's the composition I want. So, uh, but I'll be painting from just back there a bit because I can't uh, go around and push people out of the way because it's very busy here today. So yeah, that's the view that I'm going to paint. Uh, looking into the light, by the time I get everything happening, that light will be over here and it'll be high tide, there'll be some waves in that. So yeah, it's going to turn out good. Okay, so here we go. This is the canvas that I'm going to use, everyone. It's the largest canvas I've ever worked with. It's, um, I think it's uh, 36 by 48. So a metre by, well 90 something centimetres by over a metre, 120 or something. So yeah, it's a big challenge. I've got about three hours to do it. So uh, yeah, let's get painting. Okay, so as you can see here, what I'm doing now, folks, is um, I'll just pop you guys on here. So what I'm doing now is I'm just, I'm getting the block in, in place now. I'm just getting the wash, getting the colours of the blocking in place. So um, you can sort of see I've got a mountain headland there, sky there, and then uh, it's going to be all the shimmer coming down here. There's going to be a broken wave. Hopefully the waves will pick up here and the, the wet sand and dry sand up here. So yeah, that's pretty much, I'm just blocking it in. Once I get going, I'll show you guys Okay, I'm going to start with the sky now. I've done me, me blocking. I'm going to start with the sky, work my way back.
Okay, I'm going to get the, um, this is all the dry sand. I'm going to get that in and then get the pine trees in. I'm just getting the water shimmer in now. Yeah, so you block in and That's then you start the sky and then you start light is dark. Yeah. And you start on the detail, that right. Yeah. That's it. Uh, where are we? Just mixing the uh, some of the watercolour, cobalt, blue, titanium white, lizard and crimson.
I've got two hours to finish it, that's all. Oh, I know you're doing wonderful. Thanks, mate. Yeah. I'll just keep it loose. That's the goal. Oh, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. just like, not too much niggly fiddly. Yeah, that was traditional. Yeah, that's good. Thanks, mate. I'm painting that, that view there. So looking out that way. What I'm what I'm doing now is I'm just getting get, getting some of the waves in. Yeah. 
Are you doing that or not? Oh, I'm looking into the light, so I probably won't do it. can't really see much. Oh, so you Might do a little bit, I'll see at the end. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, see. I'll, I'll, I'll get it happening and then yeah. I'll look out. I'm not showing you what to do, I'll give you an idea. Yeah, yeah, I might yeah, do that. A little bit of highlight because the sun will be behind. Yeah. But yeah, see how we go, eh? That's good. Thanks, Lon. Thanks, love. Cheers. Thank you. Okay, I'm just going to get some, now obviously I'm not going to, probably won't finish it today because so I've got to do a little bit more work with it, but I've got till September for the exhibition for that. But uh, for the People's Choice Art Award tonight, um, I'll do a little bit more and then I'll leave it, I think. Now I've got, um, what have I got? I've got 40 minutes, so I can do a bit more and then go from there, I guess. Okay, I've done the painting here at Avoca. Well, everyone, that was hard. It took me three hours. And I tell you, I was non-stop working my butt off, not even having a drink after my lunch break. Because um, basically, I, I don't have to finish the painting until September, but I wanted to get it done, so we're having a People's Choice Award. You never know. I wanted to look good for that as well. And sometimes, by working quick, it's, it really helps you. So anyway, let's have a look at the painting. Okay, so yeah, let's have a look. So there's the painting. I'll get a bit closer. I think I've got a bit of movement in it. Um, I could have kept going and going, and, but it's sort of, it's not exactly what I was after, but I'm going to run with it. And um, I'm going to leave it at that. And then I've got basically, um, well, what happens is after this, I've got a few months till September. And in September, we're having an exhibition. I've got four meters of gallery space to hang my paintings. I can do some from the studio of this location as well, plus the paintings I've done today. So I've done two today. I'll probably do two more uh, for the um, exhibition. And uh, yeah, I will show you guys that video in September. So anyway, let's have a closer look. And it's uh, about 36 by 48 so yeah there it is tell me what you think in the comments what you think and um thanks for coming along everyone and i will catch you in the next one so yeah wait 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 don't go everyone g'day everyone we're gonna have a look at the um everyone's paintings and uh you guys can check them out let's have a look that's beautiful Really nice. Let's come around here. That's beautiful. Very unique, those ones. Wow, they're beautiful. Look at that. Really nice. I love that one there. That one's nice. Okay, we'll come around here, check out over here. When I seen this, I thought of a Struden. Thought it was a, looked like a Struden. It was beautiful. Look at that. Really nice. Squeeze through here. 
Okay, we'll have a look at have a look at my one. There's the big one I done. I'm happy with that one more so than the big one. I think the foreground and the big one I could have done a bit more, but I only done it in about three hours, so you know it is what it is. My mate Michael done these. That turned out beautiful. Look at that. Really nice. I love this one he done. Wow, that's beautiful. This is he there, one of my mates on Facebook. His work, beautiful. Look at that. That's nice. And I really love. You come over here. I really love his um. Look at his whale. It's be That's beautiful. Really nice. They're beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I really love that dog one. Oh, that's nice. Beautiful they are. So we head over here. This one here, the artist told me that she got everyone that come along to do their signature. Beautiful. So yeah, there you go. There's everyone's work. Um, there's a couple there I, I couldn't show you, but anyway, if I missed anyone, sorry about that. So anyway, I will show a little bit more towards the end. And um, yeah. among others um, and I'd like to pay my respects to the elders past and present but I'd also like to pay tribute to the youth because it's in their hands that they hold the future <coughs> for a reconciled Australia and uh, I think it's important that we listen to them listen to their voice and uh, vote the right way in the coming referendum to give respect and recognition so um, and I'd like to also acknowledge Aboriginal people among us tonight. Yeah. But before I give you back to Donna, I'd just like to talk a little bit to you about how I feel that Art in the Open fits into the Five Lands Walk um, dream. And for me, it's, it's one of the critical heartbeat parts of the Five Lands Walk because what it means for people who are walking, who are doing physical activity, a sporting type activity, is that they are exposed to art and culture in a visceral way. As they're walking, they come across artists making in the open air. And it's, it's such a special thing to combine a sporting activity with an arts activity. And that's been one of the central ethoses of the Five Lands Walk, is to bring together people from different little groups within our community and connecting those groups in a new way, a different way. And I think that this was a, a really brilliant piece of thinking on the part of Paul Haggard, whose brainchild Art in the Open was. <laughs> Because Paul understands what the Five Lands Walk is about, but he also understands artists. And and he's also a sports person who's also been a surfer. And he gets it. And this is what 
this is how it happened and I, I, I bought into that. So 10 years of the beautiful Art in the Open under the leadership of Paul Haggard. This year is the dawning of a new era under the mother of Donna <laughs> 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 I got a call that at school. <laughs> <laughs> but Donna, Donna is a friend of mine from way back and she, she said yes <laughs> when I said, would you do this thing? Because I really need someone. We've had this fantastic uh, Paul Haggard and Ingrid looking after it for 10 yeah. years. And, they, you know, they're just getting burned out. They don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> and Donna said yes. <laughs> and look at what she's done. <laughs> and it's, you know, because I, I knew she would be the right person because she's, she's a happy person, an enthusiastic person, an energetic person, an organized person. <laughs> she's, she, she loves people and people love her. So um, thank you very much, Donna. Thank you to you all for participating yeah. because it makes it such a special day for all the people who, we think we probably had about 24,000 people today. Wow. That's, that's the awesome. early estimate. Um, so that's a lot of people and you guys would see, because you see who's walking past you. So you would see the constant stream of people all day. So mm. we estimate it was about 24,000. So well done to you all for keeping the the arts alive and keeping keeping it fresh and spontaneous and my god looking around the room tonight i'm Amazing. so excited at what you've all achieved today so congratulations to you all and thank you okay so i just want to acknowledge i've got a i've got this written down um just before we move forward to the winner i just want to thank the selection Committee, Maria Departi, Janine Devon and Francis Atmar. Yes. That are going to assist us. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and also Monique and Rob, they just they decided to uh, donate us. Thank you so much. We also have um, Berkeley Bar Sellers and Darren Sifu that they couldn't attend tonight, but thank you. We really appreciate your help. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you to the Crown Plaza. <laughs> <laughs> and Alyssa, wherever she is now, I think she had to go back to a, a wedding. But anyway, thank Alyssa for us. Um, and well, like I said before, amazing Cheryl. I wouldn't be able to have done this without her. <laughs> and of course, the artists. Yeah. <laughs> So before I announce this, I just want to remind you all on September 1st is the exhibition at Lion's House. So Friday, September 1st. So bring your work. But I'll send out emails, etc. about that between now and then, but just to remind you, Friday the September 1st. And seeing as though dear Cheryl's just helped us with, oh, would you come and announce? Come and announce. <laughs> Come and announce our winner. Oh. Because you did the numbers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, announce it. Come on, Cheryl, you can do it. <laughs> okay. We have um, an overwhelming um, winner for the night, and it's Tess Bauer. Chance, but um, I, I look beautiful. So, yeah. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Cheers.
with the first painting that I've done, and I thought, oh, I'll be right um, after lunch, uh, I'll have lunch, and then <laughs> I'll start the second one, and then when I got to the second one, and I was watching one away on the clock and talking to people, I, I started well, but I sort of like lost my way a little bit with the, um, the foreground, but anyway, that's, that's, uh, that's racing sort of thing. So, <laughs> yeah, so but anyway, I was just really, it's just happy to be you. part of the whole thing, and um, I really appreciate being part of the whole thing. And um, yeah, now I can be in it next year, so. Enjoy everyone, wow. and we'll see you all again. Can I just, just, I just want to do one thing before you all disband, and, and this is just as a congratulations to you, Tez. What a, it's a, you know, it's a really obviously a popular choice, and. You were one of my favourites too, I would say. So Thank I, you. I didn't vote formally because I'm not allowed to. <laughs> but I had my own little count. You were one of my three. So yeah, beautiful. Not but I wanted to, I wanted to sing you a song that I wrote in response to the Uluru statement from the heart. Oh, beautiful. Um, so I'll just do that a cappella because there ain't no music. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wrote it immediately the statement from the heart was um, published and I was so filled with hope and joy at that moment and this is what happened. Yuri wrote it with me, um, I wrote the lyrics and the melody sort of and he wrote the music so here's yours. Many people gather, First Nations far and near, they gathered in the centre so everyone would hear. In Uluru they gathered and careful words rang out. Let's start a trek together, a journey from the heart. The world looked on, the nation cheered, great hope from worlds apart. For a future brought together by a statement from the heart. It's from the heart, heart of our land, heart of Australia, woman and man. It's from the heart, heart of our land, heart of Australia, woman and man. The children of the future will stride across two worlds with ancient culture shining their voices will be heard we only have to listen it's surely not that hard a movement for all people a statement from the heart no more can we the recent ones ignore wrongs of the past the present is our future. Heed the statement from the heart. It's from the heart, heart of our land, heart of Australia, woman and man. It's from the heart, heart of our land, heart of Australia, woman and Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Wow, there you go. I don't believe it. I wasn't expecting. I, I was just happy to get in here, let alone win something. So I'm really stoked. Anyway, there you go. I won the prize. I've got to bring this back next year. And um, yeah, it's um, 
some accommodation and some wine and seafood and all that. So yeah, I was really stoked. I wasn't expecting to win anything, so really happy. So anyway, thanks for coming along. Catch you next week in the next video. See ya.